Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. And we are putting out a video today about putting on the door. Okay. <laughs> Sounds great. RV door. Sounds great. And who does all the moderating on that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that would be you. That would be me, yeah. <laughs> she and is, I don't know what I'm talking about. She is the videographer today. Yeah, okay. Okay, I love You're doing you. the work and I'm just... Videographer. Videoing, yeah. <laughs> per <laughs> usual. Okay, so here is how far we've gotten on putting in the RV door. Um, we could tell that it is much better insulation factor already even though the top part up here because it was going to have to be a special order and wait a long time for a door that was actually tall enough so um we just chose to use this one and right now we just have some tape up there so that's no insulation factor but still we could tell that it was better and the way he attached this is he put some um pieces of angle iron on the side over here. I don't think you can see that, but anyway, he put some angle iron over there on the side and then uh, bolted it onto it. So, so that's the door. Looks good from the inside. It's extremely chilly. Well, I guess not extremely chilly compared to some places. It's about uh, 35 degrees or something outside today. That's good. We'll show you more when it's closer. Jim is finishing up on this top part on the door. He's using some metal. I'm going to go on the outside so I can see you better. And that's a piece of angle iron that he's putting at the top to attach the other metal pieces to and to attach to the sides to make it good and strong. So, oh, okay. I've got a piece of sheet metal to put on there in a minute. Once I attach this, but I have to take the door back off to be able to attach this. Oh boy. To get to it. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. boy. I'm very excited about the door though. What's the matter, Maisie? I mean, there were some reasons why we really liked the school bus. We liked the, I guess, quaintness of having actual school bus doors that operated on the air. But the truth of the matter is, there was a lot of air that came in around those when it was cool or when it was hot. And also, they were hard to secure. And, you know, figure out a way to put a really good lock on them. And then the other thing is, you uh, had to restart the bus every few days, every couple of days, probably had to start the bus and let it run a while. Pardon me? Almost every day. Almost every day. And let the air build back up because you use all the air opening and closing the door, just depending on how many times we opened and closed the door that day. So uh, when Maisie is, when Maisie and Kobuck were playing together, she wanted to go in and out quite a lot. Uh, now that Kobuck's gone, and since it was cold today, she didn't really want to go outside today. So, I'm just blabbering while you're watching this video, so Jim will probably put music over it anyway, so that's good. I hope. Oops.
Here it goes. We laughed when Chris left. He said, I wonder how much of our time on this project we spent looking for things. Because they would set something down while they were working and then they couldn't find it. Pencils, for instance. Pencils was a really hard one to keep up with. Drills, screw dri screwdrivers, all those things, the batteries, the battery charger. Just tools in general. Just tools in general. Yep. Okay. Yay. Okay, next. Oh, next I'm going to put this piece of sheet metal up there. Okay. I'm going to put the door back on. Okay. That's all we need for now. Thank you. And then on the other side, is it the same thing? Just... No, on the other side I'm going to foam it. I'll fix it. Uh -huh. I'll like it when I'm done. Oh, I know. I know. I just thought you might want to tell on here. No, I don't want to tell. Okay. Because I don't know yet. It's a secret. It's a secret. Known only to him. Yeah, that's a good sturdy frame. Yep, we're gonna put a couple more screws in there, but yes it is. Okay. Put three more in there. Well, that's one more than a couple, but yeah, that's okay. You said you're going to put a couple more. Then you said you're going to put three. I said that's. He's actually going to put three instead of a couple. There you go. He doesn't need three. Two was enough. Strong. <coughs> well, the nice thing is that this has actual locks on the door. And another thing which I really was happy about is the fact that it has a screen door. So when we open the door, we can leave the screen door open, I mean, leave the screen door shut and leave the other door, the solid door open so we get the breeze but we don't get the bugs and the flies. So that's pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yep. Just little by little fixing things that we didn't know we needed to fix or wanted to fix. We're going to be really happy with this, I think. And we could have maybe gotten the door that fit exactly right, but if we did, it would probably cost about twice as much. And he didn't know how many months it would take or how many weeks or months it would take to get it made because they would have to special make it. So we just opted to go ahead and use this one. And hopefully we'll be very happy with it. Jim will paint it to match the bus. Yep. Which side goes which way? Uh-huh, I think you got the wrong way maybe. I think I think it's right side up though. I don't think it's upside down. <laughs> mm 
Aha. Aha, that looks right, doesn't it? And a few screws later, it will look great. Uh-huh. You put a few more screws in it and, you know, some caulk and some Orsica Flex or whatever he's going to put around it and everything. Anyway, that's where we are right now.